Hey, what's up? What's going on, guys? It is day. I can't keep up. I think day number four of my monthly or my my March, my March vlog challenge. And today is going to be a really quick one. I'm not feeling too well, but I'm not going to let that get in the way of putting out a video today. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the media room. It's a little dark, so bear with me. I'm going to use my trusty sidekick Rashida to show you two quick and easy lighting techniques that could make a really cool video for you to do a vlog with. Ready? Okay, so today we're going to use our uh, Aperture 120T. We have the T and we have it on the C stand. You see how tall that is? You see Rashida? We're going to use her as a prop today to do these lighting techniques. So, Rashida, hold this camera as I set it up for the shot, shot number one. Oh, we need a backdrop? Oh yeah, let's do a backdrop. <laughs> well, this is after. So this is with the light facing on me, a clean background. I'm gonna show you what it will look like in conjunction with the, the room light on, because that's where a lot of people mess up at. They use every light source possible, and sometimes you don't need it, it's not that deep. So look. Now, see how that looks? It's not as dramatic. Um, the, the, the room light may be overpowering our dome light. So. And now, Turn this off. We'll look at it with just the moon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's even move this. Because this is blocking the moon like but it really won't make a difference. Isn't that ugly? Okay. So let's put this back. Let's turn this light off. Let's turn this back on. And now, here's a bonus. A lot of people always want to put the light directly on their subject. Here's a quick tip, right? There's no light behind me going on right now. If you light a piece of light behind me, you'll see like some kind of contour light, which separates my head, my hair. Um, I'm wearing a black shirt and it's separated from this dark background. So here we go. How's that? Do you see that light lit up part of my face? Some of my face should be light, some should be dark in the middle. And then you see a nice piece of light hanging off. All right guys, so now I'm gonna position the light a little differently for the second option that I'm gonna show you. So back up, Sheila, so this dome won't hit you on the head. So this dome won't hit you on the dome. <laughs> so, so for this one, we want to lower it to about head level. That's too low. So low? No, I'm, I'm going to turn it. And then I'm going to turn it this way. I think it's because we didn't adjust the settings on the camera. to eat a piece of cake and stuff like that you know if i'm singing on one part of the verse and then you'll see it done 
um, at a short clip, but um, yeah, that's how you create the effect because basically you have the light jumping in the way of the camera. The camera can't really see the subject. That's it. That's all I got for you today. I hope you like these tricks. Um, I know majority of you guys don't use cameras or whatever like that, but it's still good to see how stuff get done, right? Peace. Say thank you to Rashida. You're welcome. <laughs>